Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video, and this is hopefully a quick one, where I just want to show you a little fix that um, you can do in Windows uh, 7. So, uh, here for the GTX 260, that of course I use for the GTX 260 comp, but for a lot of different graphics cards too, like basically everything that runs at PCI Express 2.0, there is a pretty nasty bug on uh, some motherboards. Uh, it does appear on both of my test bench motherboards. Uh, and that is that the PCI Express interface doesn't run at 2.0 like it does here, because I've already used the fix. It runs only at 1.1. Um, oh, I can't run that, and I don't have internet. Okay. Um, but yeah. So even if you run the render test, you're not going to get to 2.0. It's just going to be stuck. Like, it's going to say 1.1 at 1.1. Um, and it's not just GPU-Z. Every other program telling you the link speed will also tell you it's at 1.1, and your performance will also be slightly worse than 1.1. So this is not a display error. Um, the board is actually stuck to 1.1. Um, and I'm not entirely sure this happens on any Ryzen platform, it for sure does happen on Intel. So I'm on an 8700K in a Z370 board. My Z390 board also does this. Um, I've heard of newer Intel platforms also doing this. Specifically, I've heard of this being a very big problem on Z690. And sadly, on Z690, this workaround doesn't seem to work. Uh, it seems to be like a BIOS issue, and it is not entirely clear if that issue will ever be fixed, because it only affects 2.0 graphics cards, which is kind of an obscure use case for Z690. <laughs> it's pretty bad for benching, but um, yeah, like it, d it depends on whether it's an issue with the motherboard vendor biases, or if it's like a problem with Intel's microcode. If it's a problem with Intel's microcode, there might never be a fix, because Intel probably doesn't care about 2.0 graphics. Anyway, um, so I'm going to go into BIOS. I'm going to reset everything back to default, and then uh, you'll see what we usually get. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing, like, performance um, test between the two. So we're not at defaults, everything. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not going to bother doing, like, a performance check between the two. You're just going to, like, PC Express 1.1 is slower than 2.0, and your performance gets worse if you use 1.1. It's kind of like the same as running 8 lanes instead of 16. It's just a bit tested before by other people. I don't want to put the video uh, in super length. This is supposed to be a short video on how to fix uh, this issue. Okay, we should be back now. Where's my image? That is, and I told Windows to stop doing that with the USB sticks, and it's still doing it. Anyway, so we go into GPU-Z, and yeah, so now it's at 1.1. So 1.1 at 16x 1.1, and if we start a benchmark, like if you put a load on the GPU, oh, not full screen, please, um, we will still be at 1.1. See? So cuts running full load, like, uh, where's the, where's the usage? That is 99%, uh, well, almost, because it's not focused. The uh, load in this benchmark goes down a little bit if you don't focus the window. But yeah, we are at uh, PC Express 1.1. So that's a bit bad. So how do we fix that? So we go back into our BIOS. And depending on what motherboard you have, it's in a slightly different spot, but it should be rather easy to find. Um, I, of course, have a Gigabyte motherboard. It's running the old BIOS that they had. They uh, are around Z Z490 and X570. They um, modernized their BIOS. This is still in the old BIOS. And on Gigabyte, it's right here. So it's called max link speed, and you just set that to Gen 2. So do I have a description? Not really. Basically what this does is it sets the maximum PCI Express uh, speed, like what generation, um, 
your PCI Express slots will operate at. So theoretically, this is meant to be used if, uh, so it, imagine if this was a 4.0 motherboard, but you have like a GPU riser that's only um, working with 3.0. Then you would go into the setting, set it to 3.0, and then your riser will work again. Um, of course, you're not going to get 4.0 speeds anymore, but like 4.0 was fast enough so that you can actually run it. 3.0 and not really get a, a feel a difference. Um, 2.0, 1.1 is uh, a measurable difference, though. Um, at least for benchmarking. Like for benchmarking, even the smallest things are usually measurable differences. Um, but yeah, this, this is the kind of thing that this is meant to be used for, but we can also use this to get rid of our issue. So if we just set this to Gen 2, I'll just save and exit. Now it we should be at 2.0 again. Um, so yeah, since I only have two motherboards, I can only test this on Gigabyte and MSI. The, um, so the Z390 Gaming Pro Carbon also does this and the fix also works on it. You just go into the BIOS, you find your maximum PCI Express speed setting. You set it to Gen 2 and then instead of 1.1, you do get Gen 2 uh, uh, speeds. So let's check if it worked. I would be surprised if it didn't. Yeah, worked. We are 2.0 again. So yeah, that's how, that's just how the fix works. Um, so yeah, so the platform set this works on, I mean, I haven't tested myself. <laughs> I don't have much hardware, but from what I've been hearing from other people, it should be working on Z170 to Z590. For Intel, at least. I don't know if AMD has this issue. If they do, try the fix too. It might work, it might not. Um, but I think it's worth a try. But for Intel, as far as I know, it works from Z170 to Z590. Z690 is uh, a bit problematic. Uh, I, there might also be some Z590 bots where it doesn't work. I think I remember something hearing about that. It might have to do something with uh, 5.0. Because like some of those boards have 5.0, uh, uh, PCI Express and Z690 also has it. Maybe those 5.0 switches that the boards have don't play nice with this fix. Um, so yeah, but it sh it should work on everything that doesn't have 5.0, and maybe more boards. I'm not entirely sure. Like I I don't have a Z590 board. I don't have a Z6. 8700K is the best. Well, actually, it's a lie. I have a 5800X in my daily system, but I'm not I'm not using that for my test bench because Windows 7 on Ryzen is a fun thing that I'd like to not get into. And also, uh, I actually need that CPU for my <laughs> daily uh, tasks because I play games at very high refresh rates and actually everything becomes CPU born at that point. Anyway, um, yeah, that's just the fix. So if you have a graphics card, like, for example, this GTX 260, GTX 400 and 500 cards do this too. Um, 600 series is 3.0. Um, this also works on, like, GTX 8000 series. Um, I'm not, it does somewhat work on AMD cards that have 2.0, but some of those are problematic, um, which I blame the drivers on. AMD legacy drivers are very, very painful to work with. So I blame those drivers, but I have seen, uh, for example, for, for cheap ass chips, the HD 4550s. Um, I have seen some HW bot subs where they run 2.0 and some where they run, where they run 1.1. Uh, I think my card's actually stuck at 1.1 and the fix doesn't work. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. It might have worked. It might not have worked. Maybe I had both cases happen and it just depends on which legacy driver I was installing in which way. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to make the video any longer. Um, for NVIDIA cards, it should be as straightforward as what I showed. For AMD legacy cards, well, that that well, you're always asking for trouble if you want to run those cards, so it should be a given. Yeah, but anyway, that's it for the video. Um, so if you've been having trouble with that, because like I mean, the the GTX 60 comp is now going, at least the private part. Um, 
which I mean, not really that. Pri like I said, how people can join in. Like, if you really want to join into the 260.com, go on the Jacknet RGB Sync Discord. Uh, go find the 260.com score thread. Post your score, your screenshot, and like everything that the rules say you need. There's also a link to the sheet. Um, and uh, someone will add your score. It's just that we don't want to give editing permission to any random person that wants to join in. Um, yeah, so if you're running, let's say, a 260 and you have difficulty with this problem, then here's your fix. So uh, go have fun. Goodbye.